Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be working on the example where we're going to create equations and then solve the equations to answer the particular question. That's basically the type of the problem which they use when which they call solving a value mixture problem using a system of linear equations. And it's usually some kind of long wordy problem. And I would tell you to remember some kind of hints when two things happening at the same time. And two neighbors did something, something, two cars, and so on. So two things represent x and y. That's why that's why those equations have linear, those problems have linear equations. In this case, a family has two cars, and as you can see, like I said, the first car has fluid efficiency of 50 miles per gallon of gas, and then the second car has a fuel efficiency of 20 miles per gallon of gas. During the one particular week, two cars went combined of 825 miles and combined of 45 gallons. How many gallons were consumed by each of those two cars per week? So the thing is, two cars have different fuel efficiency, which means they're using different number of gallons uh, for each mile. But we know how many miles they used for each gallon. So always read the question, how many gallons were consumed by each of those two cars? Let's have first defined, let x be the number of gallons consumed consumed by the car number one and then i guess what's going to happen y will be the number of cars consumed by the car number two i'll just copy and paste over here like so and then code y let y be the number of gallons consumed by the car number two or the second car basically doesn't matter so here's your x and y now if you see this keyword per per means product that's the idea that means a rate per that's kind of some kind of a rate i already mentioned in my different video rate every time you see per that means you they want you to multiply because it's a rate so it says the first car efficiency 15 miles per rate per gallon but the number of gallons for the first car is x so for the first car is 15 x boom done the second car has efficiency of 20 miles per gallons per gallons but gallons for the second car is y so it's going to be 20 y for the second car done then they say for the particular week two cars together combined well how would i translate combined mathematically plus sign not db combined they figure out that the two cars went for 825 miles for 825 miles and they consumed 45 gallons so if x are gallons and y are gallons and together they consumed 45 gallons the equation will be x plus y equals 45 and it's the system that we want to solve always check that units match the first one, uh, the first equation are miles. The second equation are gallons. So make sure that everything in D are in miles and gallons. Let's quickly check that, that we did not mess up. X is the number of gallons, so X are gallons. Y are gallons. Gallons plus gallons give you gallons. Makes sense. Then we have 20 miles per gallon. That's miles. And 15 miles per gallon. That That is miles so miles miles gives you miles matches and that's it that's what i wanted you to do just to make sure you know what is going on and uh, it just makes sense and people put units in parentheses those are my units units now your job is to solve this equation system of linear equations you can do it in many different ways for example i usually call equation number one and equation number two Either you do either you do substitution method. So from number two, for example, you can solve for x. It's going to be 45 minus y. Substitution method always works. And then you plug it into the one. Plug into the first equation. Becomes 15 times 45 minus y plus 20y 
equals 825. And that is the equation with one unknown. So your job is to distribute like we did in previous videos and solve for y like we did in previous videos. So that's one of the ways called substitution method. 15 times 45 is 675 minus 15 times y, that's minus 15y plus 20y equals 825. Collect all the unknowns on the left hand side and they are already on the left hand side. Then 20y minus 15y gives you 5y equals 825 minus 675 5y equals 825 minus 675 that's 150 y equals 150 over 5 that's 30 so that's y the moment you solve for y go back to equation number 2 that's the one Equation number two, here it is, and plug it there. So you're almost done. In the red, I'll write down. Now plug in two. X plus Y equals 45, but Y is 30. X plus 30 equals 45. X equals 45 minus 30, which is 15. X is 15. Now you're ready to answer the question. The question was how many gallons were consumed by each of the two cars? And the answer is the first car consumed 50 gallons. That's my X. Remember that was my X. And the second car, it's my Y. The second car consumed 30 gallons. And that is the answer. You can put it in the box. First and the second one. If you like elimination method solving the system of linear equations, then you can also use it to do to solve this system. Elimination method is, for example, when you multiply the first equation by minus 15 everywhere, and then add to the first equation, then x will be eliminated, and the process will be pretty simple as well. But if you don't understand this method, or you don't remember how to do it, honestly, the substitution method always works. Find one of the variables, it doesn't actually matter which one, x or y, from the second equation, plug it in the first equation, solve it in the first equation, so I solve it. When you found it, plug it back to the second equation, plug it back, solve it for the second unknown. And then, then don't forget what actually we were asked. Everything is in gallons, so those are my units. Don't be afraid if you see a little bit different story on the exam or in your homework or in your quiz. Uh, you see two things. Two things can be combined into system of linear equations. X and Y, whatever is in the question, usually that's my unknown. Always read the question first. Call whatever is unknown X and Y and then connect things together. And I'm pretty sure you will do a great job. See you in my next video.